name's Tim Cuttle. I'm the world famous frogman. You've probably seen some of my sculptures in galleries all around the world. Today, I'd like to take you through the process of how we make these bronze frogs. It's called the lost wax casting technique. And it was invented by the Egyptians thousands of years ago to make their jewelry. And it really hasn't changed much since then. Let me quickly take you through the process of how these frogs are made. A wax duplicate is made of the piece. That wax is dipped into a ceramic shell. The shell builds up on the wax, then that shell is baked in an oven, the wax runs out, and molten bronze is poured into that shell. When the bronze has cooled down, the shell is chipped off, and we have a bronze casting. I hope you enjoy watching this process and how my frogs are made. The first step in the process is to make a silicon rubber mold of the original master frog. The mold is then injected with hot liquid wax. After the wax has cooled down, it is removed from the mould, then cleaned and polished to remove any defects. The wax frogs are then attached to a runner system called a tree. The wax tree is dipped into a ceramic slurry and then coated with sand. This process is repeated several times over the course of a few days. When the ceramic shell is thick enough, it is placed into an autoclave where the wax is melted out. It is then fired in a kiln for about three hours, making it strong enough to hold the molten bronze. While the shell is still hot, the molten bronze is poured in. When the bronze has cooled down, the ceramic shell is removed to reveal the raw bronze castings. The frogs are then cut from the tree and each one goes through a meticulous cleaning and polishing to make it ready for the patina process. I don't want to give away any of our patina secrets, so I'll just let you watch. is finished, the frog is finally ready for signing and numbering. Well, I hope that's given you an insight into how my frogs are made and how much work goes into these things. The next time you see them in the stores, you'll know how they're made. Thank you for watching. Enjoy.